What is a drop side? A drop side is the movable side of the crib that gives mom, dad, grandma, or any caregiver easier access to the inside of a crib. A traditional drop side slides up and down. Are all drop side cribs bad? Not necessarily. CPSC only hears about cribs with problems, not the ones that are fine. On the whole, a drop side crib has a tendency to be less structurally sound than an identical fixed sided crib, and thus it is more susceptible to problems from use, being moved, storage, and assembly. How can I tell whether my crib is safe for my baby? Every time you change the sheets, check that all visible hardware, every bolt, screw, track, and clamp is securely in place. Make sure the drop side is on its track and functions well. With the mattress out of the crib, wiggle all the cribs to see how tight all the joints are. If the crib remains wobbly after tightening all hardware, look for loose wood-to-wood -wood joints that may be causing the problem. Stop using the crib if loose wood-to-wood -wood joints are found or if you cannot fully tighten any screw. Also, if one side of your crib is loose, do not push that loose side against the wall and continue to use the crib. The wall, along with a loose side, can create a space in which a child can get caught and smother. What are immobilizers? Should I use one? Immobilizers are protective devices that stop drop sides from moving up, down, and outward. If your manufacturer makes an immobilizer specifically for your crib, CPSC staff recommends that you get one and install it on your crib. Only use immobilizers on cribs that don't have missing or broken hardware. These devices protect your crib's hardware and limit movement so that a child can't get stuck between the drop side and the rest of the crib. Can I just fix my crib myself? Do not try to fix your crib. Do-it-yourself crib repair can be very dangerous and the results can be deadly. Infants and toddlers have died in crib with makeshift repairs. Untested screws can loosen and all kinds of tape, wire, and zip ties stretch, no matter how tight they may be at first. My crib has a drop side, but I don't use my drop side. Do I still need to check my crib? Yes, you should always do regular checks on your crib to make sure the components are tight and are not broken. Parts can still break and become loose even if the drop side is not used. My crib has broken or missing pieces, now what? Stop using the crib and contact the manufacturer and report the problem to the CPSC. Stop using my crib? Where do I put my baby to sleep? If your baby is less than six months old and is not yet able to push up on their hands and knees, you can put your baby in a bassinet. If your child is older, you can use a play yard. If you believe your child is too big or able to climb out of a play yard, use a mattress on the floor or a toddler bed. <music>